Twitter business page connecting all news points. In the mega city, the suburbs, and all the cities nationwide, no north, south, east, and west. That is high up in the 10 points agenda of the, the Duterte administration, which is set to go full blast with construction beginning early next year. And what exactly are those projects in the 2017 pipeline? Joy Gumatay with the particulars. <laughs> Filipinos may expect higher economic growth contribution from the construction sector in the next years of the administration. This after President Rodrigo Duterte approved several billion pesos worth of infrastructure projects. And that construction is both government and private. And for, as far as government is concerned, we hope that the new uh, package of uh, approved projects will sustain that growth in construction. But we're happy with the rest of the nation when uh, the results are good. Uh, because uh, it indicates uh, overall uh, you know well-being uh, for uh, for Filipinos and uh, we are Filipinos uh, first and foremost the week started positively as Secretary Ernesto Pernia of the National Economic Development Authority announced the seven more infrastructure projects that were considered by our chief executive. It included widening of public roads and modernizing our railway system. Secretary Pernia estimated that these projects will cost more or less 270 billion pesos. September this year, nine major projects were approved by President Duterte. It included a reconstruction of several areas at Anino Aquino International Airport and the improvement of medical facilities on big hospitals at the Visayas. The government, with the help of private sectors, allotted 171 billion pesos for these initiatives. The constant support of President Duterte on plans to improve Philippine infrastructure proves that he is true to his promise of better services to the Filipino people. For PTV News, Joy Gumatay.